Well, hello YouTube, it's your friendly neighbor, it's Saskatchewan guy, Iron Man 3406 here with another equipment operation tutorial video for you. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, my name's Nathan, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, we are going to look at a brand new next generation Caterpillar 938 loader here. And what I want to go over with you guys today is how to use the loader kickouts and the tilt kickouts. One of the most underutilized features in uh, in these loaders these days, in my opinion. So we're going to uh, go over where the sensors are, how they work, how to use the buttons, how to set them, and go through uh, all the operational stuff. So stay tuned, buckle up, it's going to get fun. And uh, again, this is a next generation cat small wheel loader, so you might see some things in the cab that you're maybe not uh, used to. So anyway, let's get, uh, let's get up in the cab and get at her. All right, everybody. So as I mentioned, this is the next generation cat small wheel loader. Um, just a little bit of an upgrade from the M series that you might be familiar with. Uh, we'll go over what's different, mainly a lot of the cab stuff, if you guys wish to get into that stuff. But as I mentioned, we're here to talk about the kickouts. So we're going to go over to the other side of the machine here. Pardon me, we're going to stay on this side of the machine. So you see we got one sensor right here, this round rotational sensor. That is the sensor that is doing all of the calculations for the tilt circuit your bucket tilt now if we wander over to the other side of the machine here up top here behind this square box that's the rotation cylinder for the loader arm for the loader arm uh, lift kick out and lower kick out so those two sensors are doing all of the uh, fancy math and everything to enable those kick outs so you can use them as an operator so now we'll jump up in the cab, show you the buttons, the controls, and uh, get you a little footage how to how to set this stuff. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so I am sat up in the cab of the 938 here. You'll see some familiar next generation equipment stuff. We got the push button start, a lot of the familiar push keypad style buttons you'll see in lots of the other next generation equipment. And then this big one right here, the uh, touchscreen display. So to get everything energized here, I'm gonna get the ignition switch turned on. We'll wait for everything to beep to life. I will turn the fan control off for the heater so that you guys can hear what we're talking about. And hopefully the uh, lighting is not too bad here. With the glare, it's a really sunny day in Saskatchewan. It's melting. We're heading into spring here, I think. So, um, yeah, so this is the touchscreen uh, display. I'll try and maybe move the loader so it's uh, at a better angle for the light and everything. Um, and then we got your joystick control here, um, forward, neutral, reverse on your thumb, your auxiliary circuit. This is your speed range, quick buttons on the uh, joystick itself and then on the back of the joystick you've got uh, your horn um, a max torque button and diff lock there's three buttons on the back there so um yeah let me get the loader fired up here there we go she's up to life and i am going to spin it around or try to spin it around so that the sun isn't playing such a big factor on the screen here all right, I think that's a little bit better. I hope it's kind of hard to tell on these GoPro screens what the light's doing, but uh, what we really want to look at is down here on this uh, this touch keypad here. So there's these three buttons right here. Um, everything's off right now because the little green light is not illuminated. Now, if we hit the green button, light comes on. This top button is for the tilt kick out. So that sensor that's down for the bucket linkage, that's this sensor right here or this button pardon me then you've got your lower kick out and your raise kick out as long as the green lights are on those kick outs are active now if you want to set where those kick outs are we'll get into that next all right so let's do the raise kick out first so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back on the joystick control here let me get that camera turned a little bit more 
So I'm gonna pull back on my joystick and take my loader to the height where I want it. Let's say that's as high as I need to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my my keypad button here and again the bottom one or the the one with the loader or the arrow pointing up on the on the loader arm all I'm gonna do is press and hold until it beeps there once it beeps that saves the new value of where you want that kick out to be set so let's say for example you're loading into a tandem truck all day long and it's the same height same size height boards you want to go to this height all day long set your kick out and then you don't have to guess all the time now what we're going to do we'll set our lower one so i'll bring the uh the loader back down a little ways i'm not going to go right to the ground just so i can show you kind of how this works all right so let's say that's as low as i need to be with my loader i'm going to use this middle one or the one that has the arrow pointing down to represent a lower kick out again we're going to press and hold it beeps it sets the new value the last one we need to set is our tilt angle, our bucket tilt angle. So we're going to just pick a spot here for demonstration purposes. And then again, we're going to use our kick out, press and hold. We get the beep. Now our kick out is set at the new value. So now when it comes to um, using those kick outs and getting them to kick out where you set them to, all you're going to do with your loader control is pull it back past the uh, the detent to go to go up. So we're going to go give it a click. And now you're going to see our loader's going to go up, 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 until it hits that point where we had the kickout set. Now same thing for your lower kickout. You want to go to that lower kickout, you're going to go to the detent and just let go. So again, everybody, now why would you want to use these kickouts? What's why does why does Cap put these in the loader? Well, it's for a few reasons. The raise kick out here, again, I said it before, I'll say it again. You're loading into a tandem truck all day long. Same truck or the same height of truck all day. Instead of guessing and having to stop and raise your loader at the truck and give it a bunch of RPMs. All you gotta do is go to your pile, grab your bucket full of material as you're going towards that truck, pull it into your kick out. It's gonna raise it to the height that you've got set so there's no guesswork for you. You're at the right height all the time. You don't gotta worry about hitting the boards on the truck or nothing like that. Now, your lower kick out, why would you wanna use that? Well, you've got a nice pile of gravel freshly crushed by your local crushing outfit and you need to load it out well, instead of guessing at having your loader at the right height all the time or your loader arms at the right height all the time, you can set that lower kick out right at the ground, right at that level spot so that you're not over excavating your floor going into the pile over time. It's just a natural tendency to always be excavating in that, into that pile a little bit every time and eventually you end up with a hole. So using that lower kick out can help prevent that. Now, same goes for the bucket tilt kick out that one really helpful for keeping your uh, keeping your floor nice and level into your pile into your cut whatever if you're doing any kind of leveling or grading you've got the ability to um, keep that bucket nice and level while you're doing grading work um, but really the main one that I use it for is getting my bucket to that preset spot every time that I'm going into my pile so that everything stays nice and level or if I'm doing cleanup on the floor of my of my uh, area, my work area, it's getting a bunch of stone and everything around. I want to tidy it up so it's not so rough and bumpy. By using that tilt kick out, I can keep that that whole area nice and level while I'm doing my cleanup, and I'm not going to run the risk of over digging and making a mess and having the boss be mad at me. So, again, in my opinion, one of the most underutilized features in loaders these days is the kick outs. Um, now this is a next gen 938 so in the older version of 938s i'll throw up a picture of what the keypad looked like you've still got push type buttons like this 
process is the exact same for turning them on and setting them um, in the in the medium size wheel loaders so 950 through to 982 excluding the GC's um, you're gonna set your kickouts the same way if the machines equipped with them now these values are gonna stay stored in here for uh, until you give it a new value so if you shut a kickout off let's say for example and turn it back on guess what it remembers that same spot where you had it set or if you shut the machine off um, we'll just go through that real quick shut the machine off fire it back up here and now again our kickouts turned on I'll turn it off just to show you that it remembers it we'll turn it back on we're gonna pull past that detent and guess what it remembers that same spot so from day to day if you're loading into the same truck over and over and over again your kickouts aren't gonna go away you don't have to reset these every day they're gonna remember the value that you told them until you give it a new value and by giving it a new value you're gonna press and hold once you put the loader or the bucket in the position where you want it all right so one thing I didn't mention too is you can multifunction so if you've got your lower kickout set and you've got a bucket tilt kick out set so I've dumped into my truck now I want to go back into my pile I can go to my curl detent and then my lower detent and it does both of them at the same time so you're not on the control the whole time monkeying with the hydraulics you can focus on driving the machine where it needs to be pointed and aimed and and uh, it's going to go to those set values for you So aside from that, that's how easy it is to use those kickouts, everybody. I really, really encourage you to use them. They are there just as an assist tool to help you be more productive, more repetitive in your day-to-day -day tasks without having to guess and be on the brake and revving the engine beside your truck and all that fun stuff. Um, but as I mentioned, this is the next-gen 938 cab. Um, so I'm not going to go through it in this video, but if you guys want to see a run-through, uh, the rest of those buttons what they do through the monitor um, What everything up top does here Throw a comment down. Let me know. I'm more than happy to do that for this uh, Next-gen small wheel loader platform. I tell you they've made some really nice improvements on these uh, on these cabs and the controls and the other really cool thing about the next-gen small wheel loaders so 9 24 or 926 I can't remember the number 930 and 938 if you don't want to have a steering wheel in these little loaders or these small loaders no more you can get them with an optional joystick steer in the uh, small loaders here now so if that's something that is appealing to you and you don't like having this steering wheel you know if you're used to running 966s or 72s or 80s or whatever with the joystick you can get that same controllability in the uh, smaller loaders now as an option as well so Again, let me know if you guys want me to go through this cab in more detail. I'm not going to do it today. This was more about the kickouts. everybody try to get you out of the sun there so that's going to wrap up this tutorial on how to use your loader raise lower kickouts as well as your bucket tilt kickouts hope you guys found this informative i really encourage you to try those features out in your loader if you've got them uh, it'll make your day just a little bit easier a little less repetitive a little less work on the old joystick there so i thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment below if you got questions about uh these new next generation small wheel loaders i'll be happy to answer whatever i can otherwise i'm gonna uh, get out of here it's about the end of the day sun's going low so uh i'll catch you guys on the next one and don't forget i am iron man we'll see you later